All right, here's another hot button issue in the Commonwealth, abortion rights. Governor Glenn Youngkin doubled down on his support for a 15 week ban on CBS's Face the Nation. But as he tries to compromise with Democrats, our Matthew Torres says efforts are ramping up to protect abortion rights. Hey, Matthew. Hey, Lorenzo. The effect of a post row era continues to ripple across Virginia. Tonight, we are learning how one advocacy group based in Alexandria is working with lawmakers to change the Virginia Constitution. In an interview on CBS's Face the Nation, Governor Glenn Youngkin maintains his belief that life begins at conception. Since Roe was overturned, he's been pushing for a 15-week abortion ban to compromise with Democrats. As a pro-life governor in a state like Virginia, where I have a Senate that's controlled by Democrats and a House that's controlled by Republicans, we have to find a way to get things done. The governor's proposed abortion ban isn't just extreme, it's based on dangerous disinformation and is out of touch with the overwhelming majority of Virginians. A recent poll from Roanoke College finds 11% of Virginians support making abortions illegal. The rest says abortions should be allowed under some or any circumstances. But there is still concern with Democrats barely controlling the Virginia Senate. Lawmakers, including Congressman Bob Good, is calling for an outright ban. Abortion should not be negotiated. It should be eliminated. Repro Rising Virginia, an Alexandria policy group in support of protecting reproductive rights, is now working with two state legislators behind a 2020 reproductive Productive Health Protection Act to amend the Virginia Constitution. Executive Director Tarina Keene says it'll be a lengthy process to draft a language that explicitly allows the right to abortion. We we neither have a ban, uh, but we neither have a, we also have uh, we don't have a right. So we want to fix that. Her organization started a volunteer system called Practicab. They train volunteers to provide emotional support and transportation to patients needing to get to their abortion appointments. The group is now training more than 100 volunteers, many signing up after the Supreme Court decision. This program will continue to grow, especially as we see more and more people coming over our borders. All right, Samantha, we know the governor wants that 15-week ban, but what about a full ban on abortions? Do we know if he's considering pushing for that? Well, Lorenzo, he was actually asked that question on Face the Nation. He declined to say if he will or not, saying that his focus right now is com coming up with that bipartisan legislation. Now, unlike some of his fellow Republicans, he did say he supports an exception for incest, rape, and life of the mother. Lorenzo. All right, this is only the beginning. Matthew, thank you so much.